welcome to the camera monster in this video we are going to learn about the design of a scrubber you knew the mass transfer can take place within the phases or between the phases or it can happen between the liquid 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 gas gas liquid or solid liquid gas the many type of Equilibrium relations between the mass transfer can be obtained within an equipment depend upon your need and the design like in the scrubber in it, it is actually the gas and liquid contacting equipment and there are actually two types that we need to first understand one is scrubber or absorber and the second is stripper the scrubber is or absorber is the equipment in which your impurity is present in the gas phase and a liquid is actually used to scrub that impurity from the gas phase while in the stripper the impurity is present in the liquid phase and the gas is used as a solvent to strip out that impurity from your liquid stream so that is the main difference between a scrubber and the stripper and design of stripper will be discussed separately now we will discuss the design of a scrubber in the scrubber first you have a gas phase stream like i have a hydrocarbon stream in which the carbon dioxide is present like you can see here it is 0 0.036 small fraction however it is entered through the bottom the gas is always enters through the bottom because I have told in the last video the gas have a natural tendency to move move upward and we are not forcing is it to go against it nature because it will require a power a force that we that is costly that is defined by certain kind of economics and you do not want to make system more costly so the liquid that have a natural tendency of gravity to move downward will be enter the column from the top like here the molar flow of here it is not mentioned but it is MEA monoethanol amine like you can different you can have different type of solvents like for carbon dioxide you can find from the literature references uh, you can use monoethanol amine you can use the DGA you can use the caustic type of scrubber it all depends upon the experiment or efficiency of the removal that the solvent can perform and it the data is actually available in the literature and from viewing the solubility equilibrium data you can estimate how much efficiently you can achieve your desired and purity in your gas stream by using that solvent so now we should move toward the design of the scrubber here first of all I am telling the difference between a physisorption column and the chemisorption column in the physisorption column the impurity is actually dissolved inside the impurity in the gas is actually dissolved inside the fluid by physical contact there is no actually chemical relation or reaction involved in the physisorption while in the chemisorption there is a chemical reaction involved between the solvent and a solute remember the two terms solute and the solvent contact for example I have hydrocarbon stream like I have many different amount of components again same from methane to butane benzene hexane but I will not focus them I will not actually target them because they are not actually soluble or even if they are that the solubility is very negligible in the amount so that is the very interesting characteristic or feature of your solvent the solvent must be specific to target your impurity and not other components so in this case I will consider only carbon dioxide and MEA relation whether it is based on the operating line material balance where one fraction changes and other changes based on your material flow or based on equilibrium data 
that is represented by a certain kind of experiments and the end products one stage one unit or one equipment or column can achieve so based on that uh, there can be two height of transfer unit models that can be defined like this is the model for the chemisorption the model is based on the Dankworth's 1970 method Dankworth's method often they call so the main difference you will see between the design of a physisorption and chemisorption scrubber will be seen in the height of transfer unit calculation or formula or in number of transfer unit calculation like I will discuss below that NTU number of transfer unit will not be that, that much disturbed but HTU is differ much in the case of chemisorption scrubbing like in the chemisorption scrubbing if you have uh, read the basic concept of the chemical reaction engineering fluid fluid kinetics if not uh, if you are junior enough that you have not read chemical reactor design now and you have to understand it go to chapter number 23 fluid fluid kinetics of octave levino spile and there you can see about uh, you can learn about the hata number concept and enhancement factor if you request i will upload one video on it so it involves the concept of enhancement factor enhancement factor is the ratio of physisorption over chemisorption how much physical contact is involved and how much chemical contact is involved so the enhancement factor actually converts that physisorption into the chemisorption relation and also the other factors and parameters are also different in the case of chemisorption scrubbing height of transfer unit while if you are interested in certain kind of physisorption models we often are misguided because most of the time we do not understand that the system is chemisorption or physisorption or even if we understand we do not want to do it considering it complex but actually it is easy and you know most of the systems are chemisorption that are highly effective use like DGA SO2 or CO2 or MEA CO2 M, uh, CO2 caustic all are chemisorption systems so if you are interested in a physisorption type of absorption then you can find out your height of transfer unit by this simple mass transfer relation H hx plus lm over mgm hy hx is the height of transfer unit in liquid phase rel or relative to the liquid phase liquid phase contact you can see and hy is the height of transfer units based on your vapor phase vapor to liquid phase or relative phase con contact in the gas so lm over mgm is defined as a slope of the operating line m is the equilibrium coefficient sometimes it is written if you have dilute solution sometimes it is replaced by a henry constant like so this is an easy equation easier than the chemisorption for the simple physisorption and the overall height can be find out using this relation where number of transfer units are equal to dx over x star minus x this is actually based on the two composition ranges uh, the ranges is better word to use because if uh, like criteria is defined in McCabe and Smith unit operations chapter number you can say 22 gas absorption like this is also that chapter or you can find it in Colson Richardson also this is based on the concentration if the concentration is greater than 10 percent of solute in the impure gas stream then you have to use the log mean logarithmic mean like lmtd in the heat transfer and that also depends upon the temperature range so here is also a range if the impurity in your gas stream is less than 10 percent like then you can use the simple relation without a logarithmic mean distribution of concentration so that is one important thing to tell and this was a concept of physics option that is only the difference you will see let's move toward the general concept of the design like first of all in the in this case for chemis option scrubber you knew there are different parameters uv and ul these are the these are called the phase velocity and it do not depends on the column internals or flow rates 
these only depend upon the experiment experimental hydrodynamic flow regimes because the flow regimes are not decided by theory uh, someone perform an experiment on the column at the batch scale at the lab laboratory scale and he can see that what the condition of column is during that operation like i can see from this figure you can see if the column is of glass and the experimental process is taking place you can easily identify by seeing outside the column that what type of region is present like i have selected based on my experimental uh, literature reference from which i have uh, taken all my references mass transfer coefficients henry constant and everything else enhancement factor my regime is actually on bubbling flow flow in the transition region based on the experiment the author have performed in the research paper so it actually depends upon the research paper the most of the things you actually find empirical or in the relation in which there is no actual equation to find out by analytical approach this means that that terms is actually not defined by any theoretical approach that is based on experiment and many conditions uh, or different conditions can define the results in the different way so based on this i have selected the uv and ul that you can see from that table for the bubbling flow in the transition region the central core peak is actually uh, not seen in the most cases because there is a packing and contact is distributed like a spray nozzle so let's start i for example i have henry constant expression like this you can find this as a function of temperature or you can find a average fixed value if you do not find your diffusivity at your temperature it is it does not matter because it do not vary that much with the temperature as i have as i have uh, analyzed using this relation the effective diffusivity of co2 in me effective diffusivity and simple diffusivity is very little bit different it depends on the temperature like at my temperature the relation is actually changes based on the temperature effective diffusivity is a function of temperature and pressure both like also the rate constant is defined because i am saying it is a chemisorption scrubber so there will be a rate will be involved and there will be a rate constant so it is also a function of temperature you know that the rate constant is always a function of temperature in most of the cases if there is an activation energy barrier or heat of reaction is involved there there are very less processes in which there is no heat of reaction very rare to say all uh, a reaction is always followed by a heat exchange so then for for example i have told in the last video the packing column is most suitable for the design of a scrubber and plate is discouraged while in the case of distillation column the packing is discouraged and plate is selective but this is a fairly long topic and need a very good and slow discussion or understanding so we will discuss it again in another video like we have selected the packing type column then you have to understand what type of packing you are use there are even the generations of, of packings are available first generation packing second generation third generation and the packing factor and contact efficiency differ in the most cases so you have select you have to select what type of packing you require and what its packing factor is and it is feasible or not it will be discussed by the end result because by selecting only the packing you can't say that oh it is very good oh it will do the magic no if you do not get your result correctly or the column height is actually large or diameter is too large then you have to come back and you have to change the packing type like i have selected here polaring if my results are not good or not reasonable or justified so i can use the pearl interlock saddles or i can use vsp metal rings etc in the many common cases you have to select a size like here it is 2 inch kv the mass transfer coefficient multiply effective area in the vapor phase is the liquid phase mass transfer coefficient and enhancement factor from the literature and i will calculate it again 
Now, first of all, the design steps for starting, you, you know it is based on two. The first is mass transfer regime and second is flow regime or hydrodynamic that has been discussed before. So first of all, on the basis of mass transfer regime, I have to calculate the material balance. That is simple again to say because the in the last videos I have discussed and emphasized the mass transfer transfer rates based on the material balances in a detailed way. So if you have done your material balance on the column, then you have to get your liquid flow rate desired. Like I do not have a desired liquid flow rate. I, I knew that there is 3% of carbon dioxide present in the impure stream from which you have to scrub the gas. I, I knew I have to use a solvent like MEA, but I do not know how much liquid flow rate will be required to remove the desired amount of impurity like I have to get the 99% out that impurity. So how much solvent will be required because you know in the mass transfer anything is uh, nothing is infinite. There is always an equilibrium that can be achieved both in the cases of a mass transfer as the dynamics, the kinetics, in every cases in which there is a flow or transfer of something or trans transport phenomena is happening. For calculating the liquid flow rate desired, you can use this equation L over GS minimum, minimum flow rate. This do not mean this is your actual flow rate, it is the minimum L over G ratio that is required to achieve the final concentration and it is based on the experimental data or solubility yield you can attain or get from the literature. Like here is Y I minus Y. It, this, this simply shows the inlet and outlet concentrations of impurity in the vapor phase from which the material has to be scrubbed. Uh, in the denominator you can see X naught star. This is the concentration which is in equilibrium because there is a counter current contact so it is in equilibrium with yi the inlet concentration x naught start it is obtained from the uh, equilibrium solubility data like i have a plot down here from the data i will show the x naught show the maximum equilibrium concentration C X naught when fraction of CO2 in the gas phase becomes okay it is out based on the outlet concentration even it is counter current contact uh, we will compare both side by side so when we achieve our final concentration there will be in in the vapor phase we will achieve over X naught maximum equilibrium concentration from equilibrium data from this formula like we have get L over G minimum is equal to 0 0.06274 but, but you know that the relation between minimums and actuals do not have any analytical or theoretical approach most of the times they are empirical relations based on a person's intuition uh, the person's experience or uh, what he have experimented sometimes so like in this case same uh, we have a ratio available in literature 1.5 times we have to use the minimum L over G. So L over G actual will be equal to 1.5 times L over G minimum. So you will get this value here. Again L actual will be equal to 0 0.094. This L over G ratio multiply gas flow rate which is noun. This remember this gas and liquid flow rates are used free of the impurity like this larger y the difference between large y capital y and small y is the presence is based on the presence of impurity like it is it, it we will say it uh, like l is the solute free gas or solute free liquid while g is the solute free gas so remember the difference between the capital y and small y and l over g used in this design case. So the total molar flow rate will be equal to these values from the calculations that we have done based on the material balance. You can also set an operating line based on the simple material balance. Again saying the difference between the equilibrium, sometimes the people confuse the concept, is in the equilibrium 
you do not have a final and initial point while a operating line acts as a state function for example you have you know you have entered the solute for example solute free liquid me that is zero at zero x based on the material balance what will be y you can calculate directly it do not depend upon a initial and final point however the equilibrium concentration behave like a state function or oh, thus operating line actually be uh, sorry it, uh, the operating line actually behaves as a state function because it has a initial and final points defined defined or depends upon one concentration like if you fix y i x naught will be based on that while in the equilibrium concentration this this does not actually happen because that is not a state function do not depend upon the initial and final value that we fix or material balance it actually based on the equilibrium solubility and what capacity the maximum the maximum capacity that the solvent have to absorb the solute it is based on the equilibrium and operating line is based on the state function parameters that a material balance show based on your initial and final points of concentrations like i have plotted using this data a plot of operating line of mea absorption uh, if your solution is dilute you can henry you can, you can conveniently use henry la constant and if you are your equilibrium line is enough straighter so you do not have to divide it by a factor of 1 minus y l bar it is it can be also seen in the chapter number 22 gas absorption mckeven smith so the equilibrium relation is found find out found from the literature using a tabulated data and it has been plotted using the excel scatter plot then you have to find out the absorption factor the absorption factor is equal to the L m mol i over m star g mol i. It actually defines the carrying capacity of the solvent or how much at a defined rate the liquid can carry your solute. Where m is the equilibrium line, equilibrium line constant that is, it is also called the slope or equilibrium line constant is given by y naught star minus y i star over x naught minus x what star the star is actually representing the interfacial equilibrium or cons equilibrium concentration here in contact in reference with the x naught and x i same defined above so from this relation this is simple relation you can find out your m based on the equilibrium data like over at x i is uh, from the relation we can see over xi for example is 0 0.8 xi 0 0.8 here x naught xi both can use it is actually x 0 0.8 we can see from the graph from the equilibrium the pressure is actually for for example you say it is 2000 kilopascal you can divide the 2000 over total pressure like my pressure is 20 bar uh, so you have to divide the 2000 kilopascal divided by 20 multiply 101.325 kilopascal the 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 reason of uh, explaining this context is the type of data you sometimes face like i have a pressure data so you may actually confuse that it is not actually like y naught x naught so how i will obtain the y naught data from this pressure so i have defined it here so by using the absorption factor, uh, by uh, you can calculate the absorption factor using the Kresmer's equation. Uh, that is actually for the plate. Here the equation is slightly different, but it is based on the absorption factor. So first of all, we have calculated the absorption factor here, which is equal to these concentration differences, and we get 11.42 as over absorption factor.